Hey guys, it's Like Roses, and today I'm going to be doing a workspace tour. And I did one of these a while ago, but a lot of people were requesting that I do an updated one because on my Instagram I posted a video basically of me um, showing you my cleaned workspace, and it's like basically never clean. So I was like, yeah, I should probably clean it now, and then I'll show you guys because it gets messy really, really quickly. <laughs> So this is where I work. So um, this is pretty much um, where I will do all my painting and all of my um, crafting. So this is basically located in my living room because I like to be with my family when I'm crafting and like I like to watch our big TV and while I'm doing things and I like to have like everything in the background because I like to just you know hang out with my family so starting over here I have my like really important LED light for especially at night um, for working and then I have just like a whole bunch of tools in these little containers here these are mainly just like pens and stuff for marking things and then I have these little needle files for filing down um, Rio Rondo parts and then I also have like all these leather tools um, and then just like a bunch of random things. Um, and then here I just have some reference pictures and then some more reference pictures because those are super important when you're tack making. Uh, and then I have all of my templates labeled and um, they're just like kept in these little Ziplocs, which I just did really recently and they're so helpful. Um, and then basically I have my blanket templates and then I have in here, these are like the little um, plastic fruit that I will sometimes use for tack. And then I have these little tiny um, crystals I'll use for tack as well as well as some other little metal pieces. And then I have these really awesome containers with um, little metal pieces as well, as well as these. Um, these are just where I store like jump rings and Rio Rondo parts of various colors and sizes, etc. And then this is like where I will do all my cutting and everything because I cut a lot of things with, especially with like X-Acto knives and and it's really important to have like a surface that you can get glue and things on. And as you can see, I was making a saddle um, here. <laughs> I really am like kind of annoyed with how this turned out because I feel like it's really way too big for what I was aiming for, but like, I, I guess it turned out okay. Um, but it's not my favorite thing. It's like more for a large, like maybe like a collector horse or maybe like a large like model. And I was trying to make it for a pony and it just didn't look right. <laughs> And always when I'm working, I'll try and have a reference picture just because it's really important to try and make everything look as real as possible. And now I will move over to my organization shelves. So right on this windowsill before we get over there, I usually have like some of the horses that I'm either going to do work for um, or like make tack for. And then I will like move them once I've finished it, um, just move it over to another section for finished area. And this, and this is this little um really soft pillow that literally saves my life and like my butt and back all the time. It's so soft. Um, so this is my horse binder. So in here I have um, a ton of stuff. So these are like all the like brochures that I have, and then I have a bunch of reference pictures, and then I have like specific sections for tack, um, sculpting and painting and stuff like that and then other references. And then farther in the back, I have some like, um, some of the sh like, like things that come with the sets. So in this caddy here, I have a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of shipping supplies for my Etsy. Um, and then this is a bunch of different kinds of ribbons in here. I have so much ribbon, honestly. Um, and then this is where I have some bodies but i have a ton more in my basement and then these are the brushes that i will use for pastels this is a bunch of the tack that i have listed for sale so i can just easily grab it and package it and then these are some of the things i'm working on they're like mini winnies i guess and i'm just repainting them and then down here i have a bunch of paints 
and then these are basically the pastels that I will use. I have pan pastels. And then I have some paint thinner and just like some other supplies for repainting and customizing. A bunch more acrylic paints. And I have some stitch fabric here. And then I have this really big caddy that I recently um, got. And then I have a bunch of ribbons here as well. So on the top, I have this container of a bunch of old tack that I'm either going to take apart or repair. Um, I have a few bubble dolls over here, um, some shipping labels, as well as like a postal scale so I can weigh the packages before I send them. And then this first shelf is basically all shipping stuff. So when I ship orders, I love to package them really with like a lot of detail. So I'll use all these really shiny washi tapes and really fun tapes that I got on Amazon. And of course I will use a ton of stickers. And then I have these little stickers that I printed out as well, Fragile Handle with Care. And I printed them out on sticker paper so you can just stick them on. And then I have envelopes, obviously, little baggies, and fun scissors for when I cut out shipping labels. In this second shelf, I have a ton of Chinese knotting cord. Um, and I use this for like the outlines of blankets and saddle pads and basically just like a bunch of different things. Um, so I have a lot of different thicknesses and colors. And then in this shelf, I have a lot of leathers, and then this is like some elastic um, fabric and sh string, I'm not really sure. And then um, these, this is really thin leather lace, uh, and then this is some more black, and then brown leather lace, and then a bunch of different mixed colors, mixed thicknesses. Um, and then I also have saddle soap, which I don't use too often, but I still have it, and then some really thick, um, leather that I got in the beginning, um, some really thick leather lace that I don't really use, but um, then I have a bunch of different leathers and materials uh, from Rio Rondo. And then in this drawer I have more um, leathers uh, and then suede as well. So in here there's a bunch of little design things that I will use for tack and I got all these on AliExpress and there's like a bunch of nail art um pieces that i'm gonna use for some sort of fantasy tack or traditional tack like with these little metal studs and then i have some suede uh, in a bunch of different colors and then i have some more leather this is a bunch of friendship bracelet string or embroidery floss and i use this for a variety of projects and then i also have um this thick yarn that i've dyed different colors and here I have a bunch of paintbrushes. So these are the thicker ones that I'll use. And then these are the really detailed ones, or some of them are. And then um, down here I have some tacky wax. And another replacement you can get is orthodontist wax. And that's just hold um, bits for, for the bridles in, into place. Then I have some more paintbrushes that I haven't opened yet that are super new and clean <laughs> under there. And then in this shelf I just have like a ton of fabric and felt that I use. Then this uh, drawer, there's also a lot more fabrics and just patterns that I'll use for blankets and saddle pads and so forth. And surprise, there's more fabric. Um, so yeah. And then this last shelf, I just have a bunch of different glues uh, that I don't really use too often, but I have just in case. And then I have a lot of wire and then I have this uh, cut up soda can pieces that I will use for making saddle trees, as well as some really fun ribbon that I haven't had a chance to use yet um, for some blankets. An empty container, as well as some pastels that I will use occasionally. Um, and then I have a bunch of paints here that I will use in my airbrush, but I have to use um, paint thinner with them, so they're not my favorite, but they dry really smoothly onto the model, so I really like them. They're va Vallejo, I don't, Valle Vallejo, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, they're really good paints. I definitely recommend getting them. And here I have some things that I have listed on my Etsy that are for sale or will possibly be for sale that I haven't necessarily decided I'm going to sell yet. And then in this container, I have just like a bunch of bubble wrap that I will use to wrap the horses for shipping. And that is the workspace tour so those are all of the supplies that i will pretty much use and this is where i work 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I would really love if you guys checked out my Etsy. And I have a bunch of different stuff for sale. I'm adding items like all the time. So if you have any like requests or ideas, I do take, I am taking a few custom orders right now. Um, and do keep in mind they have like a small additional charge because they are custom orders. But you should definitely go check them out. Thank you for being so supportive on my Instagram and especially on my YouTube because I know you guys really enjoy barn tours and I'm going to be doing a July barn tour so look out for that or just rewatch my past ones if you want. Bye! Have an awesome day! Mwah.